Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mountain Entertainment, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 Work. Sorry for the kind of rushed intro here, but we got a call we gotta to respond to about a semi that's hauling was hauling sugarcane uh, tipped over on a road out uh, northeast of here. So we gotta kind of hurry up and get out there. We got fire and the sheriff's on scene. They said, and we also got. Two farmers that are out there are gonna help us. Hopefully, uh, they're gonna. They got two front load end loaders. One has a bucket and one has some forks on it. And then, uh, so the truck was hauling a lot of sugar cane. I think almost 120 plus thousand liters of sugar cane was in the, both of these trailers. So, hopefully, we don't have to too much of a problem but we did get reports of some of it did get spilled out onto the site or onto the road so we'll have to take care of that once we get there hopefully uh, we don't need to use the roll off we're not sure they didn't say to we need the roll off they just said bring a rotator and I'm gonna bring the roll off just in case we gotta load up the semi onto the truck so Get on up here. Okay, alright, let's get going. Hopefully, they don't fall too far behind again. But I kind of figured that was going to happen because that truck goes like 40 miles less than this, or 30, not even 30, like 20 something uh, less than what this truck can do. So, hopefully, we can make it out there. So, what is said to be the cause of the accident is it was hauling it or driving it to the sugar uh, place or sugar cane storage area that they stored at and then he missed his turn it's actually right up here and he wasn't paying attention turned too sharply and rolled the truck so it's actually right up here as you can see We've got fire on scene hopefully no one got injured so, we're gonna just kinda slowly pull up into here. I don't want anyone to get injured. Alright, let's just turn that truck off and yeah, I'll stop this guy so he doesn't hurt anyone. Ooh, close call. Well, he kinda did hit the fire truck, but it'll be okay. All right. All right. Now let's talk to the sheriff real quick. Hey, sheriff, how's it going today? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah I could see that it could be going a little bit better. So, um, any injuries or did anyone have any fatalities in this accident? Nope. All right, that's actually really good. So, um, the plan will be is I'm gonna actually go take a look at it, but I'm from what I've heard is or what I've thought about on the way here is I'm gonna disconnect all three of them from each other and tip them by themselves the truck I brought the rotator or the roll off just in case we need it so that's the only reason that's here is in case we need it and looking from this we probably will need it so alright yep thank you alright I'm gonna get a real quick screenshot if you guys don't mind there we go, and we'll just hit, there we go, alright, now let's see what's going on in the neighborhood, alright, so we got a Peterbilt 377 right here, hauling two, I think these both hold like 66,000 or something, um, worth of whatever that you can put in them, I don't know if they're just sugarcane related trailers or what they are, so, all right, we got fire here. I'm gonna go speak to both of these farmers, and I don't think either of them uh, had this guy working from. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good too. All right, so I'm here with the tow truck company, and so I'm gonna probably need your guys' help, at least you with the forks, um, lifting them up. Uh, possibly, we might honestly need to just use that instead of the rotator. 
except for on the semi and maybe the first trailer, the second trailer will be more of a pain for me, I'm thinking. And, alright, and you're just here to clean it up, aren't you? Or just kind of saw it or heard about it and came down? Alright, yeah. Alright, um, if I could, I would like to use that. Maybe not today, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, thank you. Alright, so we're gonna, we may have him help us lift this one back over. So this one I think we can, so this one here I think we could hook up onto this and flip it. And then with a truck we'll disconnect it there. And I think if we hook it up onto this tow bar or this uh, pull bar thing right here, we'll be able to flip it right over. So I'm going to actually need that cop to move. We may need him to move, I'm not sure at this moment, but I'm going to go ask him. Yeah, they spilled all the, so it looks like he tipped over here and just kind of slid in, dumped most of it over there. Alright, hi, how are you doing? Good, thanks for asking. Alright, so I'm going to actually need you to move over somewhere else if you could, because I don't want this to tip back over and crush your car or anything. So, if you could do that, that would be greatly appreciated. And now, thinking about it, we may need him to move. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Good, thanks for asking. Alright, so I just want you to, if you can, just, like, move somewhere. So, I don't want it to come back over and crush your truck or uh, dump sugar cane all over it, if you could. Alright, thank you. Alright, we'll get the rotator here all set up. Okay, so I moved out of our way, thankfully. Alright, so now I'm going to have to... Five, no four. Which one is it to lower it? There we go. Alright. Okay, now the plan is to lift these out. Alright, so hopefully this will work. I'm not really sure. now. I know you want it. Come on. Okay, so for some reason this tow bar is not working. It did get updated, so I think that's one of the reasons. And okay, maybe it's not the tow bar. Maybe it's the truck. So possibly that tow bar does not work on that truck. Alright, that's good to know. It's kinda hoping it would, but I guess not. It work it will connect to the R bar really well, but not really what I was hoping. So we'll have to see if we can use that uh in a second. But I'm gonna ask this guy if I could use his truck to lift this or his uh front and end loader. Because this whole side's all messed up, so it won't hurt it too badly. All right. Yep. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, let's see if we can load this up onto our bed real quick. We had fork extensions, that would be awesome, but we don't have one of those yet. Cool mod, if someone ever wants to make a mod. I would say that would be one of them that I would want to really see. Alright, now, it should be able to run a little bit. So we'll just set her up over there. Alright, now let's see.
Let's see if this will attach to it real quick. I doubt it though. Okay, it will. What is it to attach? Alright, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, now the rest of this will we'll have to use that guy's thing to... here okay perfect all right now that trailer completely unloaded itself all right that should be fun for us to clean up Alright, there we go. Alright, so we'll actually hook that back up to our tow truck and just pull it over here. I gotta ask this officer real quick. So, what are we supposed to be doing with all this that uh, fell out? Okay, so it's actually the guy that has that front end loader's property and you guys want us to clean it up? Alright, I'll have to actually talk to him. We don't have to do it today, correct? No, okay. Um, just sometime before the weekend. Alright, yep. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for us to do. And where would you like us to store it? Just back at our place or something? Yeah, alright. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Alright, thank you. Alright, so we'll actually have to leave these trailers here. And then we're, they want us to... Um come back out on another day to clean it up and uh, get with the farmer here to talk about that and figure out when a good day for us to come out and do that is so alright let's see Put that on up So if we can just leave these here, we'll just kind of flip them around, hopefully. Not have too big of a problem with them. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see when he would like us to come out, because this is actually quite a bit here. Hi, hey, sir. So, the sheriff in the charger over there told me to come talk to you about when you would like us to come pick this all up because he said it doesn't, you don't want us to do it today, you want to wait or whatever, just before um, Sunday. Alright, yeah, we should be able to get that done for you. Um, is there, do you want us to use your equipment or anything like that? Alright, yeah, I could just bring out one of our pickups and probably load this up on there, or uh, one of our semis, and we'll bring out a semi to pull that back to our house, and yeah. Alright, yep, you too. Alright, so we'll probably be out here Saturday, picking this all up. There's quite a bit of it, like, I think there's only like 70 or 20 or something. I don't know the exact amount in that, but uh, there's quite a bit out of here. And I know that last trailer completely unloaded itself, and there was like 60,000, I think, in it, or something they said. So they got quite a bit right in this pile here, so. First one didn't unload it too bad, so. Alright, we're gonna get on out of here. And I am actually gonna just end it here for you guys, so. Well, I gotta load that still up, but that's not too hard, so. That'll be it for today, guys, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.